what you guys going to have a video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can run windows defender via batch file or via command prompt and that will be just a one simple click of uh, the uh, batch file which will then run the program to run a scan now some people uh, requested this in the comment section you would have to go into this section here and do it from here which means you have to do a multiple uh, clicks and someone wanted to do that with just one little icon on the desktop so let's go ahead and show you um, how to do that so if you look here these are batch files and uh, they're just simple code inside here that's going to run uh, the full scan and it's going to point to this file here and start to run that file and also we have quick scan signature update 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 and quick scan hide which means basically you can have all these running in the background hidden if you want to and you just need to add a bit of code in which is that dash hide like that uh, so that's basically how you set those up and the quick update and quick scan is here so let me just show you how that works so i'm going to run this you don't have to right click and run this as administrator but you can do if you want to and also these will work if they're on the desktop here so basically all you need to do here is just click on this file and it will open up as you can see here start to do an update and it will start to do a scan there you go so that will just run along so let me just uh, stop that and the same thing would be for full scan which is I think what he was interested in so if you want to do a full scan you just run this one and this will done do a full scan here full scan running as you can see and it will be the same for any of these files that you run okay so that's basically how you make the batch file I'll leave the links uh, for these in the video description so you can create them yourself if you're interested in that and uh, you can just click that and it will run automatically same thing for this signature let me just quickly show you that one as well so when you click on this it would update the signatures okay now also what I wanted to take a look at here is this and this is the command prompt so if you want to run this via command prompt you can do and these are the commands that you will need to run so let me just quickly show you here so this is the actual command that is going to be needed to run inside uh, the command prompt itself so just type cmd and uh, we're going to run this as administrator here we go so let me just show you this here so if i put this command in what that's going to do is going to give me all the uh, list of the things that we can run uh, via the command here and you can see there's a long list of stuff here so this is all the stuff that you can run via the command uh, prompt okay and if you want to run something it's pretty straightforward you just run that one of the commands that you've got there so you can see here it's giving you this dash scan tells you everything you need to do list all path and so on so if you want to run something let me just quickly do uh, one of those for you so you can see it so if you want to do type 2 scan you can do and these will tell you what the uh, dash scan type 2 is so it will be either full scan or quick scan so you just paste that in there like so push enter and it will start up scan starting and it will then start its uh, scan now remember these are different from the batch files these will be running inside command prompt as you can see here we're telling it to run inside here instead of uh, the GUI interface which is what that batch file is doing so this won't open up the GUI interface it will stay as is and start to scan like so so looking at the values here you can see uh, the uh, dash scan and dash scan type value and you can see default according to your configuration and you can see one is quick scan two is full scan 
and free is file and directory custom scan and also you do have some other ones here which is your boot sector scan and so on so then the cancel is this one here if you want to cancel it so as you can see that will still be running uh, in the bottom here I'm just leaving that running here there we go anyway that's about it for this video so if you want the link to these I'll leave the link in the video description so you can create your own ones pretty straightforward and easy to do but that's basically how you can uh, run Windows Defender uh, from the command prompt or from a batch file it's pretty straightforward and, and easy to do there anyway my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.